So, we've just seen a few pictures of you coming out of a club. I'm going to show you them now. And okay. You can give me your reaction. <coughs> oh, God. So, you're not feeling very well. Is that the hangover? No, I feel fine. Here you go, look. It's not too bad. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you get completely twatted? No. <laughs> I could smell it when I came in. So, you said you're trying not to swear too much. I just wonder what your favourite swear word was. <laughs> That's disgusting. So, I've just I've brought a few things for you actually just to make you feel a little bit more comfortable. Wicked. In the interview. We've got a few different types of. This is a long haired pussy. This one is. Oh, that is disgusting. Disturbing. It's a cross between an owl and a cat. It's, I got it when I cat Cow. Someone. Oh, I like this one. China. Yeah, does it? And then we've got soft, cuddly pussy. If you want to cuddle that. Oh, hello, kitty. And then some, some sweet, sweet pussies that taste nice. Pez. Oh my God, I haven't had these for years, man. I used to have. I used to get these on the way to Norway. I used to go there every Christmas. <laughs> Pez. You're just gonna. Get straight in there. Yeah. It's fine. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Sorry, yeah, cool. Now that's cool. So yeah, do you feel a little bit more comfortable now? Yes, absolutely. I'm I'm at home. Talking to you about pussy yet. Yep. Pussy's <laughs> cool. <laughs> We've got um one question from Twitter. We put questions for people on Twitter. Mm -hmm. This was the only one that really came back that was any good. It's from Nikki Loveday and she said, Did you enjoy snogging my mate last night? Dirty boy. What? I didn't snog anyone last night. <laughs> Unless I snogged my tour manager, Piers, in the cab. I don't think I did. Someone's laughing in the background. I think you might be telling porkies. Wouldn't know how to lie. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're on about, it's to be honest with you. It was it obviously so fresh, I can't remember it. Do you want a Pez? Yeah, thanks. You have to pull it out. Oh. Sorry. Just what pull do it. you mean? Pull it. That little I've thing there. I've never done Pez before. Oh, you have now. There we go. Oh, there we go. I lost my Pez virginity for you. <laughs> so how are you doing the pussies? All good? You've got one sitting there on your lap? Yeah. Um, I'm a bit upset this one doesn't... It does if you hold it flat. Oh, maybe not. Maybe oh. it's shy. No. But still, it's a sweet gift. Chinese pussy is good. I can't actually let you keep all of those. Chinese pussy? Doesn't it go that way? <laughs> Maybe. Shit joke. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so one of the reasons why we love you isn't just because you have nice, muscly shoulders that we want to stroke. <laughs> we go down to earth. Oh. So I've written a little quiz uh -huh. to test, because it's been a few days now. Yeah. Partying and you're, you're starting the showbiz lifestyle, so we'll see if you're still down to work. Yeah. Oh, it's your brother's wedding, but you've got a big show coming up and you haven't done enough rehearsals because you've been out womanising. <laughs> Do you A, put the gig first, this is your career and your brother will understand. Yeah. You get married again anyway. B, cancel the gig, family comes first. Or see, try and do both going backwards and forwards in an American romantic comedy style. I'll do the last one because it sounds fun. Okay. So that's actually Ollie Mers was faced with that same scenario just after he let the let's back. And he didn't go to the wedding, he fobbed off his twin brother and now they don't speak anymore. So good. Ouch. You're ahead of Ollie Mers. <laughs> so you're on your way to Simon Cowell's birthday party. Yeah. A homeless man comes up to you and is your mate Steve from school. Yeah. Do you? A. Give him a tenner and pretend you don't know who he is. It's not your problem. You're not Boris Johnson and he stinks anyway. <laughs> B. Ditch the party. Simon has four birthdays a year like the Queen. And take the homeless man to a hostel. Mm. Or C. Take Steve to Hugo Boss. Pimp him out with a sweet suit. Take him to the party. A bit like in Pretty Woman. It's the third one again. And it's funny you should say that because when I was at college I did have a homeless mate called Steve. Really? No lie. If you're out there, Steve... You hope you're alright, man. He probably hasn't got a phone. Okay, well, that's depressing. <laughs> um, and the third question. So you're 50 years old. If I make it that far, yeah. Yeah, you've had 573 albums and the <laughs> planet renamed to Matt's Anus. You get a phone call from your <laughs> friend called Katie Wazel. She's got 21 children and she's so poor that she lives in a shoe. <laughs> she wants to have a shot as your backing singer. <laughs> Do you A, 
Hey, laugh like you just did then. Give her a chance, but she has to ditch the silly hair. Just playing with your pussy there. B, offer a cleaning job. C, just say wrong number and hang up. The first one. C, so give her a job as you're laughing. As you're back no, I'd laugh. Oh, I could just did. <laughs> Brilliant. Fair enough. Um, so that's the end of the quiz, I think. Oh.